And that infection oftentimes will get around the device, and you can't eradicate it unless you take the device out. Infection is a major problem, generally requiring reoperation and prolonged antibiotics and disability. So we want to prevent that. Now, infection can occur around the operation or it can occur in a delayed fashion afterwards. What you want to do is prevent the occurrence of infection during the surgery. If that happens, then the patient usually has to be brought back to the operating room. And on occasion, if the infection is around the, around the implant, then the implant has to come out. And then you have to put a temporary implant in, six weeks intravenous antibiotics, and then put the implant back in. So that's a, that's a, a catastrophe, and we really try to prevent that from happening. And the infection rate at our hospital here at HSS, and it's 0.1%. The infection rate in the community is probably around 1% in most hospitals. Now, there's another form of infection that can occur because you have a foreign body in your system, and that is what we call a delayed infection. So if you have an infection somewhere else in your body, then the bacteria get into your bloodstream and then could focus around the device. That's a delayed infection. That's also a serious problem because, again, that infection oftentimes will get around the device, and you can't eradicate it unless you take the device out. So we give patients antibiotics to prevent that bacteria potentially seeding around the hip.